down my dory. Okay, just kidding. I, I am not really going to do any Yamadori right now. Um, it is the beginning of December, probably not the best time to do it. And um, I kind of did Yamadori from the comfort of my computer seat and bought something online. I bought a Yamadori Ponderosa pine that was 60 year, years old from uh, Golden Arrow Bonsai. And um, in this video, we're going to unpack what that. Uh, Unpack that tree and see what it looks like. Um, I wish I could go Yamadori, and I plan on setting up a trip here this coming uh, spring in 2021. Um, I have done yard yard Dory, and you know, dig digged up a few trees this last year uh, from people's yards, you know, that they don't want. That's fun, but it's not the same feeling. So this is what it is. This is kind of the closest I can get to uh, going out to the mountains and collecting. Um, you know, a beautiful ponderosa pine from the wild. Um, instead, I bought something that was collected by somebody else. Hey guys, this is Ben from Seattle. Okay, so what I have in this box is a Yamadori bonsai. I've been meaning to do a video with some true Yamadori, you know, collecting trees from the mountains for the purpose of creating bonsai. And hopefully I get to do one in the spring, this coming spring soon. Um, but I couldn't wait and I ended up buying uh, a Yamadori Ponderosa Pine from a Golden Arrow Nursery. Uh, he's based out of South Dakota. There's other people based out of Utah. Yeah, he's got a great website and he sells a lot of uh, collected material for bonsai. So I've been kind of haunting his website for a couple of years now. Kind of waiting to see, uh, you know, the right tree comes along at the right price point, right? I didn't want to spend a ton of money, but I also didn't want to spend um, too little that I couldn't get a, a decent tree. But I finally saw one on there that I saw was pretty cool. It was a nice ponderosa with some meat on its bones. Um, you know, still could use a number of years to get the foliage uh, into the right shape, but. Um, it looked good enough, you know, I always want to find something that has nice kind of structure and bones to it uh, as far as the trunk goes and um, I'm very curious as to how it looks. So let's see what it looks like. Thank God he didn't use a lot of packing peanuts. I hate packing peanuts. Looks like it's very well packed. Got reinforcements here, which is great. And a uh, piece of plywood at the bottom. Woo! Look at that. trunk. Beautiful. Wow. We did some free pins. Cool. A little swag. Golden arrow bonsai. I gotta appreciate that. As far as the plug goes, you know, this is not sponsored by Golden Arrow or anything. I just, I've been kind of haunting that site for a while and I wanted to get some nice Ponderosa Yamadori um, from him for, for a while. So this is you know, something I spent with my own money and it wasn't um, like a co-op or anything like that. Um, newspaper on top to keep the soil moist. Very nice. This is a, a 60 year old ponderosa pine. It uh, was collected on May 20th at 5,000 feet. 
Very cool. Look at that. I love this structure right here. You can't beat that. That's very nice. Plenty of branches to play with. Um, I'm not gonna mess around with wiring this quite yet, but um, I'm just gonna let it kind of gain some more vigor and um, probably do some wiring next year. Ponderosa pine, also known as the yellow pine, is one of the most widely distributed tree species in the West. So it grows from southern Canada into Mexico and from Nebraska and, and Oklahoma all the way to the Pacific coast. These trees can grow up to 200 feet. The largest one ever found had a diameter of eight and a half feet. That tree was 600 years old though. One of the telling signs of Ponderosa pines is the three needles that comes out of the tuft. So the bark on these ponderosa pines are very distinctive. They have large plates on mature trees, but can form on these smaller trees as well. The color is kind of a orange to dark brown color. In California, ponderosa pine can be found on the coast range, around Klamath, Cascades, and throughout the Sierra Nevadas, all the way into San Diego even. Its elevation ranges from anywhere from 500 to 3,500 feet in Northern California and 5,300 to 7,300 feet in Southern California. Ponderosa pine typically is very dominant on warm, dry sites with short growing seasons and very low summer precipitation. It can handle extreme temperatures, anywhere from negative 40 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and is very drought tolerant as well as very soil tolerant, so it can grow in most places that other trees cannot. The ponderosa pines hate the shade. Keep them in full sun. They do not do well in the shade. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this purchase actually. Um, you can't collect something this nice without going out a lot of times to be able to find the perfect tree in the wild. Um, I love all the curves up here. You know, I'll probably create a new apex on this thing. Um, but I'm just gonna sit on it, just kind of enjoy it for what it is right now. Uh, and the beautiful thing about Ponderosa is kind of, you know, the bark on the tree. This is a six-year-old tree. The pot is decent, um, but I don't think it's the right fit for this tree. Eventually, I wanna find something a little bit more shallow. Um, this is more of like a uh, semi-cascade pot. And um, you'll, you'll find out that Ponderosas um, are great trees to collect uh, here and um, they have kind of a range uh, and I'll show it on a map anywhere from uh, the Cascades all the way up through Canada um, the thing about Ponderosa pines is you know they, they do have long needles like this which can reduce down in size you know with more ramification um, they are single flush so you want to treat it like a white pine basically um, and you know the value is in the bark so you don't want to mess with that too much but i love this tree already it's it's got basically an amazing an amazing trunk line um that will be very fun to kind of work with so that's it this is my yamadori ponderosa very happy with it um packed very well survived the shipping just fine Props to um, Golden Arrow Bonsai. Andrew, you did an amazing job. Thank you very much. Uh, and I'll, I'll be a repeat customer. See you guys next time. Almost a good fit. I just need a couple, a couple of my uh, roots to get fit in the perfect way.